Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I feel like we're getting close to the end now, actually. I mean, Arthur is just getting worse and worse. And, I mean, we've seen what Dutch is doing. Being a total jerk. Alright. Let's go see what he wants. I really feel this ain't gonna be good, though. Like all of Dutch's plans. Maybe I shouldn't say all. Some of his plans have actually been somewhat successful, I suppose. But I feel like he's turning on me because uh, I don't trust him. I don't feel like fighting you guys. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna keep riding. I'm probably gonna lose them anyways. Hey, don't call her a dumbass. Hello there, John. Hi there, Arthur. You know, I'd have been killed in that factory if it won for Eagle Flies. In Dutch? Oh, he did nothing. Less than nothing. He ran. Yeah, I think uh, John knows that better than anyone. Mr. Morgan. Miss Grimshaw. You okay? <clears throat> sure. Mr. Bell seems to have found a couple of men he knows. They're sitting over there. Really? Dutch seems fine with it, but it feels odd to me. Yes, very odd. Well, you got a, got a good eye there, Miss Grimshaw. Can't argue with that. Okay, let's sleep until morning. Because we need to regain our dead eye and all that, because I have a feeling we're gonna need it. And let's just make sure we got a clean shaven face. <laughs> oh man, we are pale. Good morning. Morning. Well, then, Dutch. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend 
to run off? Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna... <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe ain't we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more wow, we're looking enough money to really leave. bad. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And as long as a goddamn train, Arthur. <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash, army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all. Going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. <laughs> I just hope we he's keeping survive. his word. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon. Oh, Let's that face. Out, He's not happy with me. Yeah. This can't be good. I'm just happy I'm going with John. There it is. I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. Sure, I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. All right, let's go get it. Told me the money it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. 
What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. The Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Always. Well, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. Well, John is at least one of the characters I trust. He always seemed like a good character. Oh, there you are. Got everything? Yeah. Then off we go. Off we go, indeed. One last time, gentlemen. I got us a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Gwerma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. <laughs> oh, together, Dutch, just like we planned. That okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Oh, so come on. As good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in a little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, Saint Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackin? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Can I shoot Mike in the face? He's being a total jerk. He probably wants me and John dead. Pretty sure of that. Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We still going through with this? Of course we are. <sighs> Almost there. On it. You okay? Yeah. Money's in the front carriage. We gotta push forward quickly before we run out of track.
There we go. Come on, John. We can do this. Come on now. There we go. Go. Okay, my dead eye increased. There we go. Get us killed. This was your last mistake, mister. Oh. All over now. Another Morgan special. Push up on I didn't even see that guy there. Come on now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Well that can't be good. Thanks for the ride, Dutch. One cup of that gas before it blows us all up. Morning. Well, it looks like we got ourselves a new toy. Time to have some fun. Just in time. Jack! 
Oh no, not John! Oh, you goddamn son of a... Alright. Oh yeah, that's it. You should. Okay, get off the gun. We need to go for the money. Wow. You're rude. The money should be in the front carriage. Oh. Uh, now it told me to. Here we go. Better back off. We did it. Where's John? Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. I think you just left him. Or, well, I know you did, because... The first game is released after this. And then you play as John Marston. I can't believe Dutch.
Who did? Agent Milton and his men took it to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Oh, Every hell no. So we it. just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Oh, heck no. No way. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. I'm so glad I have her. Here. Take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! Yeah! Uh, okay, well, I am actually going to end off this episode here. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!